Hello and welcome to Martinsville here in the Arca car. We are uh, in for a good one here, I think. Um, that's actually great to hear. I said uh, good luck to Mike, Mike Little. He also does like, uh, well, Twitch streams, as you see right there. And uh, apparently he was in the last one and it wasn't so bad, which is great to hear. Uh, Martinsville, usually a big mess here on iRacing, but no cautions. And the Arca series kind of throws a bit of a wild card in there in terms of what we're going to get. Things can get spread out, so... And it sounds like maybe that's what happened last time. So maybe it'll be better than you think. Sure. I'm not good at Martinsville. I'm not good at most short tracks. But I'm uh, particularly not good at Martinsville. <laughs> So, uh, I don't expect to be very competitive here. One more lap. I'll give it my best, but... I think we're going to be doing a lot of following rather than leading, so to speak. Um, hopefully keeping it clean. I don't want to run into anybody or anything dumb. So... Hopefully I can, at the very least, avoid being a problem. That's about as good as I can hope for qualifying-wise. 12, pretty close to my 672 best time. And as you can see, it's not very good, so. I'm just gonna try to keep, uh, hold my line, you know, keep it to the bottom, not overdrive. Hopefully, not get into the back of anybody. Hopefully, not get run into the back of, not running into the back of somebody, because that seems to happen pretty darn often. You know. I've gotten run over so many times on iRacing because I check up for somebody and someone doesn't check up for me checking up for somebody. That's pretty much like half of my short track, track experiences on iRacing boil down to that. Uh, you can extend that to like road courses too. But um, it sounds like the last race wasn't too bad. The worry with no cautions is that you get a huge congested mess, kind of like I've been the past week and a half with my sickness. A uh, huge congested mess on the track, and uh, you know, as much as you try to cough, it doesn't clear up. <laughs> That's pretty gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to like draw the parallels here, and I took it too far. Uh, well, we'll we'll get what we get. I'm kind of optimistic this will be better than most short track experiences on at Martinsville here, but that remains to be seen. Uh, obviously we stink. <laughs> 11th place right now in qualifying, and that was about as good as, of a lap as I can get. So I'm, I'm keeping my expectations in check here. 4.3 strength of field is actually really strong. I didn't see that until now. That's pretty good. So uh, I am the 7 car, which I'm thankful for. I want to hopefully keep my, uh, uh, you know, Hopefully finish well, but if I don't, that's all right. We got some tough competition. I don't have to feel too bad about it when I finish. Basically last. So, all right. Pole time, 19.480. That's crazy. I cannot do that. I cannot even get close to that. Kind of hoping we get the inside. Looks like we've fallen to 11th with one person to go, maybe? So if we stay right here, that's cool. Right next to Mike, sweet. So I'm actually doing 10 to 1 steering ratio for a little bit of extra, you know, wheel turn. Uh, I tried negative 15 like I usually do on the steering offset, but it felt weird. It did not feel right, so I, I just kept it at the negative 4. I don't know why it didn't feel right to me, but um, just going to go with it. And then I moved my brake device down just a little bit, but not all the way, because of course you want to... Some braking power, heavy braking zones here. But I also want to get a little bit of turn in the car as well, especially mid-corner. So move it down a little bit without uh, overdoing it. So we're going to be right in the middle of it. So we're going to get, we're going to have plenty of action, that's for sure. Taking a look. Oh, that's a pro driver. Oh, wow, look at that. Pro driver on pole. No wonder they got like a 480. Just kind of seeing who we got up there. They seem like generally pretty clean drivers, eh? 4.5s, 4.9s. There's a 1.3, but it's still an A. 
don't know. I'm just kind of trying to anticipate whether we're going to have some things to dodge or not. But there's no way to know for sure until it happens. So, like I said, just going to do my best to hold my line. I'll have my session last lap up here so I can try to be consistent. And I will be ready to take the fast repair if I need to. All right, 55 laps at Martinsville. That's uh, it's pretty quick, isn't it? It should be pretty quick. Zero nine in the inside lane. Estimated 18 minute race. All right, I'm okay with that because this is going to be intense. It's going to be very intense, I imagine. Is it a second gear start? Maybe. Yeah, second gear start, it looks like. First gear is almost definitely too short, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just gonna spin the tires if I do sec or first gear, so. I'm gonna go second gear, especially because we're gonna be exiting a corner. I guess, I guess we will be. We're not close enough to the front. To be on the straightaway, I don't think. But we, we're going to want to leave space regardless. And uh, I'm going to try to remember to breathe. I'm going to try to remember not to death grip the wheel. Keep it calm and smooth. And um, there's about... I don't know. I'm thinking there's a minor chance that we don't even make it through turn one and two. I think uh, things could get ugly quick. But who knows? We'll see. We're going. Green flag, green flag. Car outside. Oh, I got on the brakes pretty hard. Almost Clear. looped it. We're good, we're good. Yeah, I got a little excited. Because we're looking weird, so. Outside. Got a little excited, but we're fine. Still there, hold your line. You're in the top ten. Clear up top. Alright, okay, we're good. The leader has just done a 19.6. Got some guys ahead in here a little softer. That's okay, we'll give them space. I think the 14 is about to run over the 20. They're getting real close. I could be wrong. I mean, anything's going to be close here, I guess. So. Hmm. Was a, a little bit of a frame grab, don't look that. Not much time to react here already, I don't need to see a slideshow of the action. Yeah, that 14's all over the 20, man. I'm all over the curb. Why are my frames so bad, dude? It's not good. over driving a little bit. Gotta keep it smoother than what I am. You've just done a 19.9. Oh gosh, I stink here. I stink here so bad. <laughs> I'm so clunky in the corners. Almost overdrove it there. Fourteen still looks like he's gonna send the twenty around. I swear he's giving him a bumper, but it's so hard to tell. The fourteen actually wrecked me in practice. I just recognized his name. He said it was hard to judge the f where the front of his car was in VR after he did it. He apologized, but he—that's what he said. So he's—he's uh, he's cutting it pretty close, and is not able to tell where the front of his car is very well. So that's going to happen. 
That was going to go high. Return. Outside. Clear. So I should have seen that coming, and I kind of did. Thankfully, got around it. I don't know how I squeezed through that tiny little area. We went off roading a little bit on the exit of the corner here at Martinsville. So, uh, he. Still having trouble finding where the front of his car is in VR, it would appear. I'm kind of wishing. You can't make that move that way. I'm kind of wishing my brakes were back a little further. Sorry about that, 20. It's really hard to tell where the front of my car is in VR. I didn't even think I was supposed to. <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> my bad, I didn't expect you to slow down that much. That's pretty funny. I'm not making this stuff up, man. That's what happened in practice, and then. There yeah, was. Christ, it was. Christ, a joke. Honestly, this is better racing at Martinsville than you ever get, despite what has gone on. So the fact that he's saying this series is a joke, I don't know if I agree with that. I think the fact that the series can make racing at Martinsville actually happen is kind of incredible. So we're going to avoid whatever that was. Thankfully had enough room to make the corner somewhat normally. Well, I guess we weren't. Going high. That lap was at 20.1. I'm just going to be terrible for a little while longer, hopefully survive to the end. Uh, we might get caught by the guys behind. We'll see. They probably should be able to catch me, because I'm not very good. You've just done a 20.2. Don't hit the wall, you goober. Alright. We got lab traffic, that's gonna be interesting to navigate. <laughs> Just try to get some green, is all I can hope for. Just try to get some green on the uh, session last lap, and uh, hopefully we'll be alright. Is that a Lee Lab guy going in the pits? That was. That's a spot. They must have too much damage or something. Seventh position. Curious. Hey, we're holding our own. We've uh, kept it at about 0.7 behind. Is now 0 .7. For, a, for a while now. Something I'm very surprised about, you can get on the throttle. Pretty darn hard. Like, uh, normally short tracks in the Arca car, it just wants to kill you on throttle really bad. And I thought that was definitely going to be the case here. But, uh, now you can get on the throttle pretty good. And that's something I normally struggle with really hard on the short tracks, is just spinning the tires up, trying to gas it up on exit. I'm used to those mi uh, one and a half miles, where you're allowed to hit the throttle, uh, so long as you balance it a little bit more, and I just I never quite can get the feeling down on the short tracks, but it seems like it's not quite a thing with this, I guess it's just the setup here. And, uh, hey, it's to my benefit, I guess. I feel like I'm underdriving the exits a lot. I could probably get on the gas a little bit sooner a lot of the time, depending on uh, how I enter the corner. Like, that time I was entering a little hard. But it, it seems like I could be a little braver on the throttle some of the time. Like right there, I definitely kept it slowed down for too long. And then trying to overcompensate right there, I just I was slow through the corner. <laughs> so I'm very inconsistent. Not quite as good as I need to be. Oh my god, I overdrove that one really bad. I need to stop trying to learn and just focus on doing what I'm doing. I gotta focus on not experimenting, but doing what I've... It's gotten me to 7th here in the first place, or else I'm not going to get 7th anymore. Are the tires wearing out? Because I swear I didn't overdrive at that time, and yet here we are. Inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there. Oh, he's shifting, interesting. He chose to Still try there. to shift there. I'm going to see if I can hold him off at all. Still there. It's not going to happen though, so I'm going to slot in. 
Hey, he, did I hit him or did he hit my door? Clear. That was weird. Um, got the lap car past pa me as well, though. Yeah, I don't know if I turned in on him or what, on braking or something by accident, but... I just got him by me, so that way I uh, hopefully don't lose the spot to the 12 as well. Is this 3 trying to wreck the 11? What's happening here? It, uh, is that how the 3 got wrecked or something? Because he's giving him no space despite being a lap car. Usually I feel like that would happen if someone uh, is unhappy with someone. Yeah, he just I think he just moved him. That would make me pretty mad if I were the 11. Your last lap time was at... <laughs> but uh I guess that's uh, a done deal. We got through. A little scared. I had all that room and I kinda just lost it. I lost all that room I had. Like not driving very well. So that's kind of a shame. Not killing my guy with one in. Halfway, yeah. Only now halfway. So even though it was looking like it was gonna be a feel like a short race, it definitely does feel like a long one when you have to work pretty hard. Kinda wishing I had that extra turn right now. I'll put the brake bias back if I uh, get a chance. Back, I say, back. Eight back, you fell beast. Oh, wow, that immediately helped. Unless it's uh, all in my head, but it felt like it turned so much better right there. I feel like that helped, though. So, maybe 8th place is where we're going to end up? Could be. Oh wow, big trouble. Car outside. That guy had a big moment. Nah, uh, we got inside him a little bit there, but he got a bit of a run off, so... Get hit from behind. Don't wreck me, for God's sake. Car oh my outside. God! He's like trying to wreck me, man. I don't know if you notice, he tapped me in the rear end. Just slight enough that it didn't wreck me. Please don't. I just want to have a good race. I'm going to need this guy to go, though. He's uh, all of a sudden really slow mid corner. I think that eight's gonna come past us. He's usually pretty fast. So, uh. He, uh, now that he's free, he's gotten around the 12, I think he might come past us. Bumper to bumper and go a bit where we have nowhere to go. Yeah, I'm trying. I really am, but I'm just not very good at this. That was a twenty point four. Wall a little bit ahead of us, it looks like. <laughs> Consistency is such a big thing in these types of races. Well, that was a 
I guess you could say that's just a big thing in all racing, but it feels like such like an even bigger part here. I have to check out for him, we're gonna get past now. That's how it works. Still there, inside. Maybe he'll go and uh Clear. pass him there. P9. That lap was a twenty point nine. Maybe he'll open a door for me. Hope so. Then I can follow him through. I actually got loose on throttle a little bit there. I'm gonna have to take note of that. I'd be okay with ninth place. That's for sure. Top ten here in a, such a strong field. A okay with me. Do better than I expected I would. That was a. And uh, so far, kept it out of trouble, which is awesome. I thought the A was going to go uh, catch the guy ahead, but not looking like that's the case. Uh-oh. What's going on? What's going on ahead? Uh-oh. We got lead lap people in trouble. I saw that. Are they damaged enough we're gonna go past them? Okay, it's definitely getting loose on throttle now. It's a little concerning. Gonna have to watch out how much I'm throttling it up while turning on exit. Don't overdo it. Ten to go. Got 10 left to go. I know, man. I'm on top of it. 10 to go. I got you. Levin had a moment again, I think. We, we caught up to him a little bit. This is some of the best Martinsville racing I've ever experienced on iRacing. I, th I really think it's just the cautions not being a thing. Because usually what happens is the caution comes out at Martinsville. Everyone gets bunched back up again. And then uh, just mayhem. But here you got you got your Rex out of the way. And everyone's still kind of separated. So it's just fine. So I think that really helps. Oh! Oh, on entry. The guy ahead. No open door for me, though. Regardless. I can get around the corners pretty well once in a while, but I just I lack complete consistency. I'll have a couple good corners and then I'll just get stupid tight or something at one point and just completely miss my mark. And lose like a couple tenths in a corner. So we never went and passed anybody after we saw some lead lap guys uh, have some trouble. Ooh, I got loose and he got loose at the same time. Five left to go. I gotta take it easy this corner. The tires might be hot. I might have had an open door there, but we both made I both had a, a, a moment at the same time. Oh, he's in the wall good. He's in the wall good and well. <laughs> that was a twenty point five. I don't think anything's happening. Running out of time, and I don't think I'm actually faster anyway. Two left to go. But that's Two okay, go. that's okay. Eight looks like he wants to spot, though. He's, he looks like he's driving real hard. 
Trying to get that eighth position. Or the seventh position, rather. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. We do have a lap of traffic right there. I don't know if that's going to be a factor or not. It's going to get lap, weird. Oh, yeah, hit the curb. Good idea. Let's get a little bit of curb. Oh, looks like that's it. All right. I'll take it. P9. Great stop. Good thing right there. All right. Oh. P9. That's the end of the race. There's the flag. It's over. Um, what part do we want to... Solid work. ...the replay? Do do. I don't know. That might be one of the better Martinsville races I've ever done on iRacing. I think the key is just not having cautions. We'll give it. Yeah, uh... Honestly, like, I bumped you that first time, and... I really didn't, really didn't mean to get into you there, and then I just tried to like, go on to you after that. Is our heat going to be more important than up. anything here? The light in the rear was up pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that wasn't intentional. My bad about that. But it, it wasn't too I big of a deal. I was just trying to go up on you. Uh, these things are so sensitive, you barely touch. And hey! Uh, Four I rating estimated. I'll take it. And what's even better? Zero X right. at Martinsville. I don't know if that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I'm sure it has, but I don't remember. Maybe the late model race I did here once. But see what did happen. But again, very uh, very nice racing for Martinsville on our racing. With me trying to wreck on the first corner. Just had to get my footing. <laughs> blinking. Okay, we're going to have to skip that guy. He's going to be blinking a lot. 20 kind of cuts in front of the 18. And then the 18 runs into the back of them. Like, you just, you can't do that in the braking zone. So, I know the 20 seeing this open spot right here, but you can't do that when guys are braking. I think uh, it maybe wasn't the cause of this. I think the 18 kind of just went in a little harder. And then he got the curbs, too. But uh, still, it's, a, it's a, not really worth it. Not worth that risk, even if you're trying to get in line. I think you get wrecked more often than not. And then the 15 is just going to come and take out the 18, I guess. Does he just feel like he was okay with doing that because of the wreck that just happened? So he's just like, well, he wrecked that guy, so I'm allowed to wreck this guy. He uh, definitely didn't do a very good job of it. He's getting himself some nose damage. And uh, net net gain of zero spots. So, and lost some time to the people ahead. There's 19 running someone over, running over the 13, he, despite the fact they're in the back of the field already. We've got some more people finding them. This guy's broken. See his like left front wheel is not functioning properly. The 20 gets sent around. This 15's just running everybody over, huh? Where did he finish? One lap down. So at least he didn't have a great job, a great uh, finish. And then here's P2. I remember they were not happy with this. Huh. He thought the 20 was going high, probably for them from that move. And it looks like he aimed for him. How did his car. Okay, it did get broken from that. For some reason, I thought he was able to finish to the end. I'm like, how did his car not break from him? But it did. Is the 15 just wrecking people? What was that? That's the leader. What is this moron doing? Like, he's not getting out of the way for the leaders coming. He's, like, blocking them. So the 2 sends it in because the 15 should be getting out of the way anyway. So the 15 turns down and gets him, and then he turns left into him. Like, what is your problem, dude? <laughs> That's annoying. I'm glad the two escaped from him. 
Look at that, he's trying to send it in on the leader. Wow. Uh, I'm glad everybody showed up to watch the 15 race, because that's uh, what he thinks. Everyone's here to watch him. Oh, Jordan got someone. I didn't even see Jordan was in this race until partway through the race. But, uh, got to the back of the 12 there. A couple people stacking up. Yikes. Mm. So it looks like the four was getting out of sorts. He kind of maybe got the uh, apron a little bit. Now the one sent him to the apron. So four maybe has a bit of a slower corner. But the one just runs into the back of him. And then just continues to run into the back of him until he wrecks him. He gets going real quick that one. Still finishes ahead of us. I think I saw this in the distance. So that'll do it. So still had some short track shenanigans, but overall, pretty good race for Martinsville. We'll move forward a couple of spots, basically break even on I rating, and uh, I will definitely take that. 4.3 strength of field is pretty darn good. And uh, to be able to pull into a top 10 on a short track and one I'm not very good at here and have a, you know, a clean race, I'll take it. I'll take it every time. So thanks for watching following along to this finish and uh i hope you have a good one and good luck to you if you try to do yourself some martinsville racing this week as well and i will see you next time see ya